Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be determining why it is beneficial to take the racing line. To do this we're going to use a simple illustration of a corner using two circles. The inside of the corner will be made up of a circle which has a radius of 20 meters while the outside of the corner will have a radius of 40 meters. This will make a 90 degree turn and the corner will extend straight out on either side. Now if you wanted to you could simply split the difference and drive your car down the center of the corner at a radius of 30 meters. However this would not be the fastest way to get around it. The idea of the racing line is that you want to have the radius about which your car is traveling as large as possible. Ideally an infinite radius meaning your car would be traveling in a straight line and thus could accelerate forward as fast as possible without worrying about lateral grip. Using the example with the 20 meter radius and the 40 meter radius, it's geometrically possible for an 80 meter radius circle to be drawn without this line touching either the inside edge or the outside edge of the corner. Now by doing a little bit of math, we can see how much more effective it is to take the larger radius path, the green line, versus the smaller path, the red line. If we assume to have a 1000 kilogram car with tires which have a frictional coefficient of 1, we can determine the maximum velocity which the vehicle will reach based on the radius of the corner which it is driving around. Because the cars are limited by the frictional coefficient of the tires, and this number is the same in both cases, the car traveling on a larger radius will be able to travel at a faster speed because if it were traveling at the same speed the lateral load on it would be lower. This is explained in my video on cornering speed which you may be interested in checking out. We'll be finding out what the speed of the car is at the apex, as this is the point where it's under primarily only lateral G's, as to maximize the speed around the corner, you'll be braking before reaching the apex and accelerating after reaching the apex based on the traction circle of your tires. We'll start out with the equation velocity equals the square root of the coefficient of friction multiplied by the weight of the vehicle multiplied by the radius the vehicle is traveling divided by the mass of the vehicle. This equation is derived in my video on cornering speed which is linked in the video description where you will also find a link for more information on the traction circle. Taking the first example, velocity equals the square root of 1 times 1000 times 9.81 meters per second squared times 30 meters divided by 1000 kilograms, this gives us a speed of 17 meters per second or about 62 kilometers per hour or 38 miles per hour. Now if you were to take the racing line, using the same equation but changing the radius from 30 meters to 80 meters, you'll find the maximum velocity is equal to 28 meters per second, equivalent to about 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour. So as you can see, taking the racing line improved the velocity of the vehicle at the apex by 63%. It's now obvious why you would want to take the racing line. You don't have to brake to as low of a speed when entering the corner, you can start accelerating out of the corner at a faster speed, and you will travel through the corner in a shorter amount of time. All in all, the lap time will be better. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.